A treasure trove of East African art will soon have a new home in Washington, D.C. The Gulf state of Oman has gifted the Smithsonian's Museum of African Art. A viewer's Caroline Turner has the details. Recently, the National Museum of African Art announced a gift of $1.8 million from the Sultanate of Oman to support a series of programs celebrating Omani and East African arts and culture. The partnership is made possible by the Sultanate of Caboose Cultural Center in Washington. The museum will launch a two-year series of programs, the Gems of the Indian Ocean from Oman to East Africa, which will highlight the cross-cultural connections of Africa with those found in the Middle East. Museum director Jeanetta Cole says she became inspired when Omani dancers performed at the African Museum. I started to listen more carefully to that music, and I said, it may come from Oman, but it sounds mighty African to me. And we began to explore these connections between Oman and East Africa. And this is my project, Connecting the Gems from Oman to East Africa. It's two years in the making, and we're really excited and grateful to have this opportunity. We're going to have an array of different programming throughout the two years. We're looking at performance, art workshops, language workshops, a publication, a original documentary that will look at the whole project and we're hoping to premiere the documentary at different film festivals. Um, so this has been my baby. The ambassador of Oman to the U.S. says the first Omani envoy sailed from Zanzibar to the U.S. Our relationship with the United States goes back from 1840 when we were the first country to sign a treaty of amenity and commerce with the United States. Uh, the gifts that were brought by the envoy who came to the United States are being displayed at the Smithsonian Museum. So what better place for us to have a partnership than this institution that has been here. An Omani engineering student modeled Omani fashions. This is something that all Omani would wear, especially if they are... If if, who's wearing the dress is the bride and it has all the five I mean all the five fingers have uh, the rings and then something here and then something here to hold it up yeah so this will be and you also have the sleeves must be embroidered uh, with real crystals and it would sometimes it's also handmade but this is not right now <laughs> yeah and also this is very traditional and all also brides must wear this and um, on the head, this is very important, <laughs> yeah, so that's it, and you actually have to see all our collections, like we have many several collections with many colors, you will like them, I'm sure, yeah. Programs and exhibits featuring Oman's influence on East Africa will open this year. One of the first exhibits will feature the 19th and 20th century Omani postcards. A catalog will be published in 2015. Carolyn Turner, VOA News. Well, and that's our show for today. Be sure to watch Africa 54 on our website at voaafrica.com. For more news, tune in to VOA's evening radio show, Africa News Tonight at 1800 UTC and in the morning. Stood daybreak Africa between 0300 and 0600 UTC, Monday through Friday. Thanks a lot for watching. From all of us in Washington, have a good night. See you tomorrow.